Oh, I love you so bad Like the kid in the back of the classroom Can't do the math Cause he can't see the blackboard Club. I'm Rashid, and I'm here with Ezra Furman. Welcome, Ezra. Nice to be here. The new album's called uh, Transangelic Exodus. Um, how'd you land on that name? The name was a matter of much contention. Well, no, I don't I guess I knew it should be called Transangelic Exodus as soon as I came up with that phrase. The worry was that, like, it's too, it sounds too pretentious. Or it's, uh, the thing I realized is I, I tend to like pretentious stuff. Because pretentious, that's a compliment to me. It means ambitious. I like ambitious stuff, stuff that is, I don't know, got new ideas, yeah, weird push stuff. push it forward, trying to do new things. Yeah, on an on a epic scale. She said, if you need to find a door inside of your head that leads to somewhere else, I'll show it to you.
words fail me now Skipped me Would you call this a concept album or just kind of a journey through your I, life right now? I was resisting calling it a concept album. Uh, after I talked to a few people about it, I kind of realized, like, oh, it's a, it is a concept album. I, I can't fight that. <laughs> I think what it's not is like a rock opera. Right. And it doesn't, it doesn't tell a story in the beginning, middle, and end kind of sense. I edited a lot of stuff out that I wrote to make it make more sense because I didn't want it to make too much sense. I didn't want to, it to explain itself, you know? You wanted them to kind of dig, not just like literally just lay it in front of them. You, you could dig a little. Yeah. Or like, I mean, I just like how it came to me sort of in a dream, dreamy way, you know? I kind of had this idea of writing about an angel, me and an angel in a car, like on the run from some kind of oppressive authority figure. It's just something that like arrived in my brain yeah. Kind of as a vision, I like things with a dream logic to them. Mm -hmm. It's it's a little more powerful than going for the make everything logical. And right.
left the money in your hospital garment We'll stash the rest inside the red Camaro secret compartment Even the deepest wounds will heal over time I'll run my fingers over your scars and yours over mine They'll never find us if we turn off our phones We're off the grid, we're off our meds, we're finally out on our own Now I see color coming back in your cheeks And um, the song, uh, Suck the Blood from My Wounds. I know you guys, the, the journey is pretty exciting. It's like you're in a car, you're taking this angel, um, getting away from the oppressors who are trying to keep you apart. Are you kind of relating that to like the kind of the political climate we're in right now with where people who are different are kind of... There's a reason I found this concept in my brain. You know, it feels like I f something I found, mm -hmm. like a, a treasure I uncovered in the, in the debris of my subconscious. I wrote that song, which was sort of the beginning of those angel-focused songs in, uh, I think, spring 2016. The national conversation was really devolving and getting scary right. around then. I hoped that by the time I finished it, it would be, it would feel a little less relevant, but unfortunately, this mood of like paranoia and certain stigmatized vulnerable people being more stigmatized and more vulnerable seems to be persisting. And it's kind of terrifying. Yeah, I, th I think the idea was, though, to make a, a an album that's about both fear um, and some kind of solidarity. 